Hello, good day to you and your friends and you know, we're back with another 5 minutes of God's Word something to help you munch on and to help you digest, alright? Now, uh, today for this object lesson for today, we're going to use balloons we all love balloons, right? We get to play with balloons uh, you know, during functions, during parties balloons always add a bit of colour to decorations, alright? Now, uh, what, what is this object lesson about? Now, we all know a balloon is filled with air. Now, this is us, okay? This balloon represents us. Now, when you blow a balloon and you tie it up, you keep the contents of the air inside, the balloon is filled up. Now, if I were to just release the balloon, it just remains here. It's easy to handle, you know, it, you could say it's peaceful, it doesn't fly all over the place, you know. If I just leave it, where whatever I'm doing, I can still manage it. Why? Because the air inside is holding the balloon in place. It's not darting all around the place. If it's a helium balloon, then you'll just see it float up very gently. Now, this tells us that in our life, when we begin to read the Word of God and we digest it, we remember it, we keep it in our heart. That's what Jesus tells us. You know, when we read the word, we should keep it in our heart. Why? It is because in our heart, that is where we make all our decisions. In fact, uh, all the issues of life, as Jesus says in Matthew 16, all the issues of life come from the heart. The heart is the source. So you've got to store the word of God in your heart at all times. Why? It gives you balance. It keeps you manageable, it keeps you easy to handle, it keeps you buoyant above everything. Now that is what happens with a balloon that is filled up. Now I'm just going to leave this balloon here and we're going to now look at somebody you know, who is like a balloon but this balloon is a little bit different. It's not tied up and for this my wife is just going to hand it to me just like how every magician has uh, an assistant. I have my own assistant. <laughs> All right. Now this balloon is filled with air. The difference is it's not tied up, it's not knotted up. Now this is symbolic of a person who fills himself with God's word but does not meditate on it, does not remember it, does not apply it in his or her life. You know, it's like a leaking conduit. You read it, you know, it goes in one year, it comes out the other year. The next day you forget about it. All right. Now this is that balloon when it's not tied up. What happens when this kind of a person is released into the world, right? Not tied up, filled with, for a short while with God's word. But what happens when it's released? Can you see? It just flies in a different direction, out of control. You don't even know where it's going to. Friends, when we read the word of God, don't do it as something uh, daily just to fulfill an obligation or just to do something for the sake of doing it. When we read the Word of God, be like this balloon. Tie it up into your heart. Tie it up into your life. In fact, that's what the word meditate means. When you meditate on something, you muse over it, you peruse over it, you recite it, you remember it, and you apply it in your life. When the Word of God remains in you, you become like this balloon, not flying all over the place like the balloon earlier that was not knotted up. When you tie up the Word of God in your life and you seal it in your heart, you become like this balloon which is so easy to handle. You see, if I just leave it down, it will just stay there. All right? Now, the Word of God tells us in 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 33, God is not the author of confusion, but of peace. Let me repeat that for you. God is not the author of confusion, but of peace. If you want to have peace in your life, fill yourself with the word and keep the word in it. When the word escapes from you, confusion comes in. That's why you, you may be like the balloon darting all over the place. You know, uh, like a headless chicken, they would say, you know. Now, can I encourage you for today? When you read the word, keep it in your heart. Why? Because you want balance in your life and you want the Spirit of God to keep you in place so that you do not react unnecessarily out of your emotions. So we thank God for this lesson that we get to learn and it's my recommendation to you. Memorize the word, 
keep it in your heart so that you don't become like the balloon that is starting all over the place you become a beautiful balloon that is balanced in peace and without confusion in your life have a blessed peaceful week